Often patients think that a diagnosis of breast cancer is a death sentence. And I can see it in their eyes. And the words come out, am I going to survive this? Well, as I've shared before, breast cancer is a huge galaxy of diseases. Multiple different kinds of diseases. From the earliest in situ or small invasive cancers, way up to much more aggressive uh, and frankly very, very dangerous cancers. So let me give you an example of a common sort of result from a core biopsy. Patient has a lump in the breast. Hopefully the people working them up ordered a core biopsy. Core biopsy comes back intermediate grade invasive ductal carcinoma. Very, very common. It's probably the most common that I see. Remember now, there are three grades, low grade, intermediate grade, and high grade. So an intermediate grade invasive ductal carcinoma is a very, very common diagnosis. And then often the core biopsy will pick up some of the surrounding in situ breast cancer. Remember, the cancer has to originate inside the ductal system first as an in situ breast cancer and then grows out through the walls of the ductal of the ducts and, and invades the surrounding uh, tissue and becomes invasive at that point. So often the core biopsy results uh, will say, let's say as an example, uh, surrounding intermediate or high grade in situ breast cancer. And poor patients come in with these reports in their hands that the primary care doctor has given them just like a deer in the headlights, thinking, oh my gosh, am I going to die? Am I going to survive? Is this serious? Uh, am I, you know, and all the questions that come with it. So as you've heard me say multiple, multiple times, this is why this is a multidisciplinary team approach. This is why we need to figure out all of the subtleties of a particular breast cancer and then obviously maximize the contemporary treatments as we understand them today knowing full well that in the future these treatments are going to get better and they're going to change. Um, I often have patients coming in already have been on the internet, all over the internet, looking up the survival of stage one breast cancer, or stage three breast cancer, or things of that sort. There's something real important I've got to remind you of. That, so those numbers, whether it's you know, 90% at five years, 90-something percent at five years for stage one, down to maybe, I don't know, 65% for stage three. Those are historical numbers. Those are looking backwards at what happened to people treated years ago with the therapies that we understood them then. And yes, the higher the stage of the cancer, there is going to be lower survivability but, I, but remember, we're talking about incremental decreases here. And we're also talking about getting way down the road here for new things to come along. Uh, my colleague, Dr. David Margelith, will be also talking in the future here about uh, what he sees coming and the future of uh, breast cancer treatment, how we hope to convert a lot of breast cancers into chronic diseases, and I've talked about this before when it comes as an example to stage four disease. So what's the wrap up from this? Don't be overwhelmed by these complicated reports. Be in the hands of a multidisciplinary team. Make sure that you're getting the state of the art care as we understand it today so that you can and will survive and we want you a long ways down that road so in case anything should come back, we got new cool stuff to treat you with in the future. Do you know that not every breast cancer patient needs chemotherapy? Now there's a way to decide if chemotherapy will benefit you based on the unique biology of your tumor. To learn more about the Oncotype DX test and how to discuss it with your doctor, click this button.